Now to your voice, your vote. A new ballot measure in Colorado Springs aims to raise taxes for some people in old Colorado City in the name of revitalizing the area. The boundary for those impacted by the proposed tax include hundreds of residential and commercial properties along Colorado Avenue. Cardio 13's Tyler Cunnington joins us live in old Colorado City to explain how much it could cost people living there. Tyler. Yeah, Bart Heather, that ballot measure, if it's approved, would allow the creation of a Downtown Development Authority, or DDA. It would generate money through property taxes of about $680 for commercial property owners and about just over $130 on average for residential property owners. The boundary for the development authority is a narrow one, sticking to the properties lining about two miles of Colorado Avenue. It includes about 250 residential properties, 350 commercial properties, and 425 businesses. What I'm told is that money gained from those taxes would help improve aesthetics, sidewalks, curbs, add parking opportunities, as well as security measures, and more lighting, as well as water drainage improvements. It's why some businesses say this is a crucial opportunity to bolster OCC for years to come, while other business owners said they knew very little, if anything at all, about the initiative, and some residents here felt the same. Honestly, I think you need to not vote till you really do more research here, and that's what I'm going to request that you do, because I don't like mistakes. That we are confident that the DDA, any money that is collected, would definitely go to improve this neighborhood, and that's what we as business owners want. Now, the questions for that ballot initiative would be mailed as a separate ballot in addition to the one you'll receive from the city. You can find a map of that boundary to see if you fall within its lines to have a say in that decision to create the DDA at our website, cardio.com.